So Christmas is just round the corner and if it's your first Christmas driving, whether it be in driving lessons or whether it be independently after you've took your driving test and you're on your own, then I'll give you a few little um, tips to help you cope with December. So, a few little tips then to help you over Christmas, or leading up to it. The traffic's gonna get busy, that's, that's straight away, you need to know that. If you haven't already spotted that, um, traffic over the next two weeks are gonna get a bit crazy. The traffic levels are gonna get pretty busy. You, you're gonna get um, people taking chances on the road who you might think, what's he doing that for? He's wrong. <laughs> So it's like in Milton Keynes, and I'm sure it's like that everywhere else in the UK. It just gets a bit bedlam. People who've not driven up for a year are going to come out and drive to, to the shop to get their Christmas shopping, and they're going to drive atrociously. So you've got to be prepared for all these silly things happening in front of you because um, you're going to see it. And you might even see people going down the wrong way on the roundabout. Silly things like that. It's, it's unreal. So that's what to expect. Now, what you've got to say to yourself is, to cope with that, obviously expect the silly drivers a bit more than normal, and um, just control the traffic better. So as you're approaching a roundabout, do what you normally do. Don't get dragged into going fast. Slow yourself down. Expect to give way because of the traffic volume. When you're on the roundabout, and I'm, I'm using roundabout as an example here. When you're on the roundabout and you're going round the roundabout and you're coming off, don't be surprised if the cars ahead of you on the left start pulling out in front of you, taking risks, and you're thinking, it's my right away here. <laughs> and they've been crazy stuff in front of me. So I'm just kind of giving you a word of warning. So if you're on your own, and this is what's going to happen, you're going to get lots of traffic. Give yourself more time to get to work or to get home or to get to the place where you want to be. Don't think that, that 50 minute journey is going to last you 15 minutes because you're going to come out of your house and it's going to take you another 10 minutes to get there because of the traffic volume. The vol you come to your first roundabout and you're sat in traffic. So just give yourself more time. Don't be surprised if, if uh, you're sat in, in queues. Don't be surprised if you can't get out straight away. The other thing also is uh, the weather. It's changing every other day at the moment. So when you're, when you're um, getting up, at the moment it's nice and sunny. I think the weather's about six degrees, seven degrees. It's pouring down tomorrow forecast, day after that, sunny. <laughs> and then the weekend, something like two degrees. So make sure you've got your de-icer ready. Make sure you've got your stuff, um, you know, your, your antifreeze in your car already lined up because if, you, if it doesn't and it drops below zero degrees, there's a risk of uh, something freezing up. Go a bit slower on the roads if it's, if it's freezing. Last week, my car was absolutely filthy. <laughs> and it had only been out a couple of days. And it's just the weather, mud on the ground, rain and everything. So make sure you've got some good windscreen wipers out there. So in December, it gets a bit crazy with all the traffic and people. So just be careful on them roads. Be prepared for it. Um, give yourself more time and um, if people do silly things in front of you, don't get upset. Don't, you know, keep cool about it. It's, it's just that time of year. Don't, don't, don't let them wind you up. If someone bibs you from behind because you took a little bit longer getting out of that roundabout, that junction, don't worry about it. Just keep, keep you cool. Remember, it's your first December. It, it will get quiet in January. It always does. But December's notoriously busy where I live and I'm sure it's like everywhere else and um, so I'm just giving you a bit of a word of warning so kind of don't get caught out good luck on the roads and um, remember when you're on there make sure you get home in one piece don't take risks safe driving